Hey guys, there are thousands of government jobs removing the college degree requirement, making it more accessible. Let's talk about it. First, let's look at how many people in the United States actually have a degree. And as of last year, we can see that 42% of Americans have some type of degree, whether this is an associate's, a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD. And this has been steadily increasing over the years. Just 11 years ago, this number was 36%. And if we look back to 1940, we can see that less than 5% had some type of college degree. So this is what some people refer to as degree inflation. And we can all remember our parents telling us that we needed to go to college. No matter what we were gonna do, we had to go to college. And we had to study something that interests us. Why? So we can get into the job market, so we can get a good job. Well, it seems like a lot of people actually took that advice. The problem with this is the more degrees that are in the market, the less weight they actually hold with employers. So now employers have to look at something else that makes that candidate stand out from the rest. But just because more people are actually getting a degree, does that mean that most of our jobs should require a degree? Consider the fact that the average cost for a four-year bachelor degree at a public state university cost $101,000. This includes tuition, books, dorm fees, and other expenses. And this total cost keeps rising. Right now, 35% of all jobs, which is about 50 million jobs, require a college degree. But should 50 million jobs require a college degree? In my experience, I interacted with multiple people that were technically proficient, that knew their jobs, that had a strong work ethic, but they didn't have a college degree. But they could be taught you could teach them a task and they can execute it with high efficiency levels. Now, personally, I have a collection of degrees. I have an associate's, a bachelor's, and a master's. But for my job right now, do I need a master's? I would say no, I don't need a master's. I don't even think I would need a bachelor's, to be honest with you. Last month, Maryland officially dropped the four-year college degree requirement from thousands of their state jobs. Currently, Maryland employs 38,000 people. And the governor stated that half of those do not need a college degree any longer, meaning that about 19,000 state jobs will no longer require a college degree. Now, obviously, for some professions, you will need a college degree. And we're talking about lawyers, doctors, engineers. They will probably always need this level of formal education. But the positions that are being targeted in Maryland are mainly administrative. We're talking about a sales manager, an office manager, or a digital marketing representative. Maryland currently has hundreds of job vacancies that they are struggling to fill. In fact, if you live in Maryland or you're considering moving to Maryland, I will leave you a link to their state job board down in the description below. But it's not just Maryland. In Boulder County in Colorado State, they have removed the degree requirements for over 80 of their county government jobs in order to increase applications and diversity. And in Oregon, the governor is currently trying to remove college requirements for caseworkers in order to increase their candidate pool for openings that they're struggling to fill. It is clearly a sign of a trend that will continue, especially as we have so many employers complaining about labor shortages. Now, the counter argument for a person to actually go ahead and attain that four-year degree is number one, it is often looked at as an indicator that an individual can start a program, a program that takes four years, they can start it and they can stick with it so they have that level of commitment. And maybe that level of commitment that they apply towards their bachelor degree, that could be transferred into other areas. Maybe you'll be committed once you get on the job, that type of mentality. And number two is that this person has skin in the game, so to speak you've paid $100,000. So you were invested in your self-development, in your self-improvement. But not everyone has this opportunity or has this type of money to actually earn their bachelor degree. And it's not advisable for most of us to tell young people to go ahead and take $100,000 or more in student debt. This type of debt, which they're not even looking at paying off completely until they hit their mid to late 40s. So what do you think about removing the college degree requirement on thousands of government jobs? Are you for it or are you against it? Let me know down below. Well, that wraps up my video on thousands of government jobs no longer require a degree. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.